Ah oh man, I was going to take you along with me to look for some plots of land, but look at that thunderstorm heading this way. I don't care, let's go. Did you think I was going to let a little bit of rain stand between my subscribers and me today? No way. As I said, um, I want to show you some plots of land that I'm looking at because, well, big surprise, we want to build a house. So this will be the first video in a series called How to Build a House or House Building Series. I don't know, I'll have to figure it out. But what we're doing today is, without too many details, going to check on a few areas in Yash, two locations primarily, where I know I could find some nice plots of land to build a house. So that's what we're doing today. I think I'm on the wrong road, but this is the forest I saw. Where the hell am I going? Ah, I rely too much on GPS, on sat-nav. Basically where we are now is an area where we have houses on this side and then a full-on forest five meters away or 10 meters away on the other side of the road. Who wouldn't like to live in a place like this? It's just that this is the wrong side of the forest and it's a pretty big forest. I think I have to turn around. But I mean, man, having the forest right next to your house, that's... We should go into the forest. Let me just park the car. Okay, park the car. And this is the forest. As you can see on the very other side of the road from all these houses. And this area goes all the way that way for a few kilometers actually because I saw it on the map but what I want to see is if I can find a place to actually get into this forest and have a look all right here we go should we go through there are you ready don't think I have the right equipment though but here we go wow okay I'm not here to film the forest but as you can see it's a full-on forest now this is a nature reserve so basically it's protected by law and people come from uh, all over the county to go for walks and bike rides i'm not going to go into the forest now i'm neither equipped nor do i have the time to go on a uh, a forest hike but the idea is that we do have a forest in this area so it's pretty cool <sighs> right back in the car area one or location one even though i didn't plan for it Let's call it location zero. It's pretty nice. So I'm on the other side of the forest, the same forest which I wanted to see, but from a different part. So I'm pretty happy with this place. Uh, it's just that I don't see any uh, vacant plots of land at the moment. Okay, time to get back on the road and see if I can find that entrance to the, uh, the proper road which leads me to where I want to be. So let's go. We're here. So this is the other side of the forest I was telling you about. And these are the famous rolling green hills of Yash. This is a really nice quiet place and the air is so fresh. Let's see what kind of forest we have here. <laughs> Mosquitoes. Right, so here we go, forest. No bears, of course. Imagine this, you get up in the morning this is a fantasy, but imagine this, you get up in the morning, you make your coffee and you step outside, walk maybe 15 yards, 15 meters, and you're in the forest drinking your coffee. Look at that. Again, I am not going through that like this and with this nice black t-shirt, always with the black t-shirt. What is wrong with you, Marius? Nothing, I just that I like black. But going back now, we want to look at some land because we're not going to buy any forest. We're going to buy some proper land. <sighs> a bit nervous. 
but excited at the same time. Hopefully I don't annoy any of my future neighbors by parking over there. So one factor which might make this not so attractive is the very narrow road. But look at this. If you take out the road out of the equation, look at the surroundings. It is fantastic. Așa în general zona cum e liniștit, nu aud traficul ăla. Noi stăm acum în altă parte. Imaginez aici că ieșiți dimineața la o cafea, vă duceți în pădure la doi pași. Nu că eu fața nu chemat să stau aici la pădure. Da. My first experience in this place is fantastic. This nice lady stopped to, to talk to me about the uh, the available plots of land in this area. She uh, actually moved from somewhere else to here and uh, she doesn't regret it. Look at this. It's like I'm in Tuscany or something. Look at that. Can you believe your eyes? I can't. Apparently where this uh, grapevine is is a plot of land that is for sale but it's 2700 square meters which is much more than I can handle and I don't even have money for that. But look at this. Beautiful. Yes, yeah, so the new friend I made, now the nice lady, she's going off to uh, to hunt some mushrooms. How can you not love this place? Wow. Grapevines as far as the eye can see. And apparently some of it is for sale and it's really quiet. This is what I love about it. It's really quiet. All you can hear is nature, birds chirping and dogs barking. Absolutely love it. You know how you can get into your own fantasy, like get stuck inside your own head? Well, I can just imagine myself waking up in the morning, picking some fresh tomatoes, maybe digging up a few potatoes, having my coffee, doing some work for the business and vlogging. Okay, so enough with the fantasy, time to go back to the car. I still want to show you the second location which I planned for today. So sad to say goodbye to this place. Look at this. It's like out of a out of a Lord of the Rings movie or something. Oh my god. <sighs> Building a house is something which we've wanted to do for a long time. Uh, but because of the pandemic, we were forced to put our dreams on hold, so to speak. So now that things are starting to calm down a little bit i've got the drive again to to look for land to speak to people i've actually spoken with a, a friend of mine who's an architect and who i want to uh, take care of our project for us and I, i'm just getting in the mindset of getting things done and when i have a mission i i stick to it so hopefully by seeing some land today it will you know make the drive even stronger to get something done what the hell is happening here Okay, heading into the second location now. There's also a bit of forest area, woodland area. The main attraction of this location is something which I want to show you just as soon as I can get into, into the actual area and park somewhere. So here it is, second location. Well, almost, because the main attraction of the second location is this. Now, what do you think about that? And all this area is filled with new houses. So it's that area across the lake and then just above this hill is a nice little village which offers quite cheap plots of land. Well, they used to be cheap. You can see there's loads of vegetation, it's clean air, it's quite nice and quiet. Of course, I'm stopped next to the road now, but we're going to have a look at the actual village up on top of that hill and we might actually even go to that area just across the lake because I've never been and I want to see what it looks like and what the views are from there and apparently that area over there is much cheaper than this one up here so let's see I want to just take another moment to enjoy the view this is what I'm talking about with this location the view is spectacular I've never been in summer I've only been in winter and it wasn't that pretty but just look at that wonderful and of course at the bottom of this road 
you have the nicest view of the lake. There you go. There's no more plots of land here where I'm standing, but just look at that view. Man, these guys, these guys that built here are so lucky. Just look at that view, that's delicious. I'm gonna try and zoom in on that in post, but it's fantastic. I don't know if this is facing the street or facing the road, the dirt road, or it's uh, just completely overgrown inside as well, but we're gonna have a look. We're gonna have a look to see what else there is available uh, without knocking on anybody's gate at the moment. Oh look, a horse and a cow. Well, I'm just walking up this path. Of course, we're in uh, a rural part of of the uh, the county and this is well outside the city not too far though but the thing is imagine having to drive up this or even walk down this every day and the plot of land is completely overgrown i can't find any place to look inside to see anything at all but it's completely overgrown well i guess this is it for this side of the lake and horses and behind me i have a nice gentleman taking his animals to green pastures but i'm not going to find anything here so let's jump in the car go back to the other side of the lake Whew. final location hello Final location, we're on the other side of the lake. First impressions? Not much. I don't really like it because it's just really, really busy. Look at the houses. It's just one next to the other. There doesn't seem to be a lot of planning going on in terms of roads and architecture and things like that, but that's a whole other story. It's sort of a, a big problem in Romania. Here it is same lake that's where we parked just before and look at this look at this mess jeez well i wouldn't buy this plot of land here and have to see this all day i'll tell you that <sighs> okay to be perfectly honest with you i wasn't very impressed with the last location we saw so the other side of the lake where we're just leaving from now uh reason is it's it seems like chaos to me. It seems like everybody's building completely different style buildings. Nobody's respecting any sort of uh, general um, building design. Or It's a general problem in Romania, like I told you. But beyond that, there's a lot of building materials being stacked on the side of the lake. And you get to see that every day when you build a house here and you open your windows and it's just a mess. Sorry to anybody who is from Yash and lives in this part, but it's true, isn't it? I mean, it's a mess compared to the other side. No wonder this is cheaper. And of course, when you compare it to what you get in the first location we saw today, it's a no-brainer, like the Americans say. So I'm sorry that um, I basically wasted some time. I always saw this place on the map and thought to myself, well, it's so roads. Oh my god. Ah oh no, this is a sign. This is a sign. I always saw that place on the other side of the lake, on the map, on Google Maps. And I thought to myself, well these, these plots of land are really cheap. Land is so cheap on this side. Why? Well now I know. There's very little infrastructure. Everybody's doing their own thing. It's absolute chaos. So I guess the search continues. I wasn't expecting, of course, to find uh, anything suitable from just one visit. Of course, it's not my first visit, but it takes a lot of time to find a place where you want to build something and spend basically the rest of your life or a big chunk of the rest of your life. So I guess I'll just have to keep looking. But until then, I will be updating this playlist, this series, with other things which relate to building a house and getting things ready. So stay tuned. So that does it from me in this first episode of the Building a House series. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I need to be careful how I drive now because uh, I need to get home alive and it's really difficult in traffic with these, these bastards here. I don't think I've ever done an outro in the car before with you guys, so 
Thanks for watching, and please check out one of these, where are they? On the other side. Well, let's put them on this side this time. Yes, please check out one of these two videos, up there and down here. Dangerous driving, don't do this, kids. And I will catch you later.